Hey guys, Brand Shelman Brown, physical therapist, CrossFit coach, and wellness coach with Get Your Fix Physical Therapy. Gonna show you a way to, excuse me, a way to address tightness in the back of that shoulder area. So um, we have a couple different rotator cuff muscles that sit back here that when they get tight, they can kind of cause some pinch pain on the front of the shoulder. They can also cause some numbness and tingling in the hand area. So it's a very important area to keep loose for um, just normal function as well as for uh, your fitness as well. So for this, equipment wise, all you really need is a lacrosse ball, nice and firm, um, so it can get in there pretty good. So if the right shoulder is the problem, what you'll do, you're gonna lay on your side, you're gonna position the ball kind of right in that, um, on the edge of the shoulder blade in there. And most likely if you have trigger points in there, it's gonna feel pretty uncomfortable. But what you'll do is position it wherever it's kind of most uncomfortable. Arm is gonna be straight out in front of you, elbow bent, so the um, hand's pointing towards the ceiling. From there, you can do this actively or you can help assist the motion. I personally like to assist the motion to get a little bit further into it, but keeping your weight down on that ball Going to give some good pressure there and then back off. And basically what that does is it helps smash that trigger point as well as helps mobilize around it as well. So doing like 10 to 15 that direction and then you'll just reverse that. So then you're going to go backwards with it and do 10 to 15 in that direction. You can also, as things loosen up, start to shift a little bit and get another area that's a little bit tighter. You can also, if you want, just do it actively and go back and forth. The biggest part about it is, though, is keeping that pressure here and giving some motion here to let that all those muscle fibers really roll across that ball and allow things to loosen up. So that's what I got for you today for loosening up that, uh, that posterior rotator cuff area. Uh, specifically, the teres major, teres minor, infraspinatus area does get the lats in there a little bit. So that's what I got for you. Have a good one. Bye.